Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Just turned on my car. <laughs> Today, guys, is a fun and exciting day. Let me just set you down here. Today, I am heading to the Gold Coast because my very good friend Tara is back in Queensland. She lives in Sydney. And we've been trying to see each other literally since like March, but obviously with COVID lockdowns, none of us could travel anyway, but the border was shut between Queensland and New South Wales. And then it was shut for a really long time and then it opened and then it shut again. I think it was only open for a few weeks, so like a week or something and it shut again. And then it shut again for a long time and then it opened again near Christmas time. And obviously neither of us could really travel near Christmas because I was working, she was working at family stuff. And then the border closed again, um, but luckily Tara got up just before the border shut again. Um, and this just closed, she has done her quarantine and she has had two COVID tests and she is negative fine. So she's done everything. I've waited to see her. She's actually been in Queensland for a few weeks now, but obviously we've kept apart until we've known for sure that she's fine. So today I'm going down to spend the day with her. And I don't really know what today holds. She lives a little bit out of like the main Gold Coast area. So I'm driving down there first, a bit closer to the border. Um, and it's 8.30 currently. I'm leaving quite early because of the border closures. I think there might be a bit of traffic because there is backup with people trying to um, cross the border. And today is the 4th of January. So it's the first official work day back after the Christmas New Year break for everybody. So hopefully get a nice clear run down there, but perhaps not. Going down there and then I think we're going to spend the day at Burley, which is a little like beach area um, with really cute cafes and shops. I don't have my car tripod with me though guys, so I'm not going to be able to vlog much in here because once I start moving my car, you're going to fall. But the plan is once I get going down there, I am going to pull off and get a coffee. I've already had my breakfast today, no excuses, got to start your day with breakfast. Had my classic fruit and yogurt bowl with some wheat bix on top. I had a cup of tea, but no coffee. So I need to go get my uh, coffee. Anyway. Hi, can I please get a large iced latte on almond milk with no sugar syrup? Um, I actually have no almond milk, sorry. Oh, okay. Um, no, that's fine. I just won't get anything. That's fine. Just get one down. Thank you. Guys. Oh my God, there's a Zarafas. There's a Zarafas across the road. There's a Zarafas. I'm pretty sure they have a look. Surely they're a cafe. I actually have no clue where I am right now. There's a Charles Jr. down here. Carl's Jr. I mean. <laughs> I've never seen one of those before. Oh, what an idiot. Oh my God. I need to try you guys. I don't know where I'm going. Oh my god. We're good. We're good. We're good. <sighs> okay. Well, one door closes, another one opens. Isn't that just the motto of this coffee experience? Do you guys have Carl's Jr. where you're from? What's Carl's Jr. like? I've never seen one in real life before. But there's one at this stop. We've got a really extensive menu here. I've never... God, I haven't gone to a just Zarafa's in years. Thanks for waiting, please ready. No worries. Um, can I get a jumbo iced latte on almond milk, please? Sorry, a jumbo iced latte? Yep, on almond milk, please. Yeah, how many shots of coffee? Uh, three. Yeah, any other food or drink? No, that's all, thank you. Jumbo, triple shot of almond iced latte, 770. We'll see you at the first window. Beautiful, thank you. A lot more expensive than McDonald's, but what can you do, guys? Yes, thank you, yes please. Okay, Amazing, thank you. Hi. Yes, thank you. Thanks so much, have a good one. You guys, I've got a jumbo, look how big it is. Look at it, compared to my face. It is literally the size. Let's taste it. Look, that is disappointing. Purely because they don't use milk lab milks. And that is sad. No use crying. Oh, that's really bad. I shouldn't have got a big one. Oh, well. We'll enjoy it. Time to get back on the road. Much later now. It's currently 11 past 10. And I am now, like, officially down the coast. I don't know if you guys try to do this, but, like, I have a sad nav and everything. But when I'm driving somewhere that I have been before, 
or even actually to be honest if I haven't I try to like challenge myself and see how far I can get without reading like putting in the address generally it doesn't go well but for some reason I just like doing it because I find I'm really reliant on my sat nav a lot of the time and I don't read road signs the last time I was at Tara's place was I literally want to say like 300 meters into the roundabout and take the first exit onto Galleon Way. Thank you, ma'am. We got three years ago. So I'm just trying to remember. But anyway, we are now four minutes out. So we're going good. We're going good, guys. So just want to give you a little update. Guys, I'm here. I'm here, I'm here. I'm just chucking a UE to park. I think that's her car there, I'm pretty sure. I'm just gonna park behind it. Because I think we're gonna take her car today. Okay. Oh, my sister's calling. Hello? Hello. I'm in my pajamas. That's okay. okay. Hello. <laughs> Good, how are you? Look at your hair. It's deeper than the ocean, baby. Stronger than your feet. Climb upon my body, baby. later now we just sat down for lunch i got just a classic avo on toast with eggs what did you get tara i got an eggs benedict the smoked salmon mm -hmm. did you get a drink i did i got an iced coffee because i want my heart to yeah be i know <laughs> i had do you know that coffee that i had for um was triple shot That's yeah a lot of coffee. i have a lot of coffee in a day i'll easily have four shots in one coffee at work yeah That's i'm like caffeine immune Oh my god, no, I used to be like you. I've tried to downgrade myself to one coffee a day. I'm doing pretty well actually. Lockdown made me more of a coffee addict. Yeah. I think because I was so disjointed from normal life <laughs> that I, when normal life happened, I was too tired to engage in it. It's true. No. This is yummy. Do you want to taste this? It's nice, this isn't it? Mm. Anyways, we've got soda. And yeah, we just did some shopping. And now we're just going to chat and play chess. <laughs> yes, my, my, no, hang on, you'll move first. White okay. move. Thank you. <laughs> if you saw my map, oh my god, <laughs> hold on, guys, look at her coffee. That is a dream. Do you get our normal milk? Yeah, sh oh, I shouldn't have done that. No, 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 I'm just, I was just wondering because I'm, too. I'm an almond latte fiend. Normally I'm a soy milk kind of gal. Can I get a live taste test? Yes. Oh my god, it looks insane. Mm. Yummy. Oh wow, that is high. So I just wanted a coconut ice cream. Like it's normal ice cream, but it's coconut flavored. Spiker. <laughs> <laughs> he was so excited. He died almost from hearing it. <laughs> It is just you and I 
I spent the day with Tara, it was so lovely, but I'm leaving a bit earlier because I just sort of want to get back to Brisbane. You have reached your destination on the left. Shut up. Yeah, I just sort of wanted to get going and get back to um, Brisbane before A, it gets dark, or B, there's too much traffic on the road. I'm just picking my playlist for the drive. I don't know if I want to commit to this playlist. Do I want this playlist? What do I want to listen to? This is the hardest part of driving anywhere. It was so lovely to see Tara. I've missed her so much. I literally haven't seen her for over a year. As I said, we we're gonna try to see each other this year, but we just couldn't get to see each other. And she's heading back to Sydney like this week. Um, and obviously until, until the borders sort themselves out, I don't know when I'm gonna see her again. So it's a little bit sad to be saying goodbye and not knowing, but if everything goes to plan, She's hopefully going to be coming back up for her birthday later in the year. But also if the borders open, I will go down to Sydney, hopefully if I can, um, to go see her. But we'll just see how everything pans out. I'm not making any promises anyway because we know, know how the year's going to go. Anyway, I just got myself a coffee. I saw Tone Almond from a coffee shop before we left Burley. And I'm going to drink this on my drive home. Oh my God, guys, here's my question to you for people who live in Australia and don't live in Australia do people flush their lights when there's a radar trap at you it's actually illegal but someone just did it and the only reason I knew straight away is because I saw this radar trap when we were driving back before from Burley um but yeah do, where you guys are from do they do that um I haven't actually had someone do it with me for a while um because generally radar traps aren't that um it's not that they're not common, it's just that they're more on the highway, so there's not really any traffic coming towards you often, like, enough to see. But anyway, yeah, someone just did. So, really nice. I think it's a really nice community thing, but it's also illegal. So, do that information what you will. Um, <laughs> anyway, now that that's done, I'm going to focus on driving because I'm not 100% sure how to get out of the suburb bit and get back onto the motorway to go home. But I'm sure I can figure it out. Oh. 